Hello my art superstars. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a digital scrapbook. Oh, you probably know what a scrapbook is, right? It's just a collection of stuff, could be cards, could be pictures, could be clippings from magazines. So the program that I use and I find it really, really easy and straightforward to use is a Padlet. So what you need to do is just type in padlet.com and then it should give you, if you haven't logged in yet, it will give you something that will allow you to log in, but I already have logged in here. And then click make a Padlet. By the way, Owning a Padlet is actually free. You can have up to three free pads. If you want to upgrade, then you will just have to pay, but you, all, you only need one for this exercise. The second screen that you will get has several formats that you can choose from. Since we're going to be making a digital scrapbook, one of the best formats is actually the wall. So I'm just going to basically select that wall I'm going to start my padlet Ooh, what a beautiful background and it already has a title there memories okay that's for my memories of 2020 yeah and then I could put in an inspiring subtitle the courage to create now I'm gonna click next or I can either finish it off if I'm happy with a new wallpaper by the way you might get a different wallpaper but I prefer to choose my own if you want to have a solid color then you can just choose from an array of colors if you want to have gradients and textures and patterns but I prefer to look for pictures and you can even upload your own designs or pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just try orchid. Yeah, that one. So I have this as my pad. Now, when I'm happy with that, you can click next. And it will give you this instruction. You're all set. Post your heart's content and start posting now you already have this padlet you can share it or you can ask your classmates to share something in here so you just click this that's for the setting this one is for more the easier way would be to click share or embed but first you need to change the privacy you have to change it to secret now if you want to be exclusive you need to assign a password and every time you share it you also need to share the password but I will just uh, put it on secret that means only those with the link can have access to it okay and you can also put in um, you can also allow or disallow people to write by clicking this visitor permission they can either write they can read or you can even let them edit but since I am going to ask my friends to write onto my pad then I can just leave it as can write okay so that's it now when it's time for you to just share it all you need to do is click share and embed and then copy the link to clipboard so this way this way you can share that link that you have already copied okay and then your classmates or your friend can just open it for example here I'm gonna make a new tab and I'm gonna just control V that means to share and it will take me right to that area then I could start sharing say I could I could share some pictures in there I could share some thoughts okay, just be mindful of what you share okay 
So, um, for example, I would like to share something which I made from my um, laptop. So, I will type the sharing and then to my friends. To my friends. Okay, and then um, you can upload from the laptop. You can pick a file from the laptop. Okay, this is what I made earlier. Right, so you can either do that. By the way, you can also share by um, double clicking the screen. Okay? Or you can share a link, a YouTube link or an inspirational link from the internet which you might want your, your classmate to remember you with. Okay, or probably a video that you have uploaded on YouTube. Uh, both of you were there, so that's something to remember. Remember, these are all about memories, okay? Yeah. Or you can even take a wacky picture of you. Peace, my... Okay. So, you see? It's a very straightforward digital scrapbook. You can share it too whoever you like so that's all for now thank you for creating me for the entire year looking forward to seeing you all in September oh you can choose normal and I'm going to write I see you next